Hey guys, I'm back. Still day one on this old MG. New addition to the family. I did a minor jet adjustment on the SUH2 carburetors. But what this video is about. Oh, let me just start it up for you guys before we move on. This is, and I reset the timing a little bit. Let's turn the key. Here we go. Hopefully she starts up. There it is. Isn't that great? First day. Fresh gas. Old spark plugs. Let me turn it off. Try it again. This is no major tune-up. Absolutely no new parts except for a battery yet so far. Okay. Anyway, what I wanted to uh, talk about, and as I mentioned before, this car has no brakes. But uh, so here. I just wanted to show everybody, or who doesn't know, the location of the master cylinder on this old MG. Let me move the light out of the camera. And there we have. It was so old, I went to open it, and it just screwed off. Stick my finger in. It's bone dry. I mean, bone dry. Maybe I can get a picture of it for you guys. Absolutely bone dry. So, ran up to the local supply house. Bought some Valvoline. DOT 3 and 4. I'm not sure if it's correct yet, but just to get some old fluid in there and check the seals, see if I'm going in a new master cylinder. If I have to go for a new master cylinder, which I'm probably going to do, but for today, see how bad, how good my aim is. Not so good. All right, I just overfilled it. It's up to the brim. I'm gonna put the cap, oh, got a couple bubbles. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Just gonna hand tighten it. And I'm gonna give a couple of presses. Wow. I can feel a little tightness. Alright, let's open it up. See what we have. The oil now looks dirty. Looks like motor oil. If you could see that. So, one minute, Jay. Well, we'll get back. <laughs> 